All right, Jay, thanks. The state of Long Island Sound. Today, officials giving an update, and the news is not great. Storm Team 8 meteorologist Sam Cantro has that story for us tonight. Our Long Island Sound, something that all of us in Connecticut cherish greatly, but a report card recently came out, and the results, not great for some of us. Look at this beautiful view, one we've seen for thousands of years. Unfortunately, thanks to our environmental impact, even though it looks great, the quality is far from it. So what is this report all about? It's a snapshot in time on the ecological health of the waters out here beyond the breakwater of New Haven, all the way from Orient Point down all the way to New York City. Now this is the second report card issued by Save the Sound, which puts together scientific data collected from throughout Long Island Sound. It evaluates its health and gives it a grade. So how did we fare? We have pretty good water quality starting out near Orient Point in the very east, and as you move into the sound, the water quality drops off until you get down near New York City where it's actually an F. So some of us are enjoying pretty healthy conditions on Long Island Sound, but in some areas it isn't doing so well. So let's take a look at some things you can do to help the sound get straight A's. First, don't overdo adding fertilizer to your yard. And when you do add fertilizer, make sure to purchase one that's organic and slow releasing. Also, free soil testing is available in our state and will help you determine what kind and how much fertilizer you need. Even though it'll cost a few extra dollars, it'll make your yard look great and can make a big difference in the water. I think most people would be willing to make a small investment as long as they knew that it's going to benefit this great harbor and this fantastic resource of ours, Long Island Sound. That was Sam Cantra reporting, and to see the full report on the quality and health of the Long Island Sound, you can find it there on our website at WTNH.com.